good afternoon everyone my name is nina chilap and i am here to present you our topic development on akash platform it consists of two parts porting of proximity on akash tablet presented by me nilesh singh and pradnya mohite and other is peer to peer communication on akash tablet presented by dilip singh and pushpak now uh, just uh, moments ago Nile, uh, vivek and ajay has told you about the published lecture Uh, it is an interactive lecture and all. Uh, you can distribute on pen drive, SD cards, uh, and uh, it can. Uh, they all told you about the web also. Uh, but uh, the main thing that comes in our mind is uh, we have it on our desktop. So why do we need on Android, or we can say Akash tab? Uh, so if you think in the future, uh, you can see more and more uh, people having tablets instead of uh, having desktop PCs at their home. Because it's uh, Akash tablet is being the cheapest of all, it's, it's the biggest advantage of all. So here is some of the information of Akash tablet. Uh, it is a, it is an initiative taken by MHRD and government of India. Uh, it will be uh, distributed at such, uh, at very ch uh, cheap rates uh, throughout the nations, uh, throughout the uh, nation. And uh, there are some specification like Akash tablet uh, runs on Android 2.3 OS. Uh, it has uh, 700 megahertz processor. Uh, 256 uh, RAM, MB RAM, and 2 GB internal storage, and it also supports uh, 32 GB external storage. Now, here are some of the media file formats supported by uh, Akash, which is supporting Android 2, uh, Android 2.3 OS. Uh, in audio, it supports MP3, AAC. For video, it supports uh, MP4, 3 GB. Image, it supports uh, JPEG, GIF, PNG, and uh, BM, uh, bitmap, etc. Uh, as uh, as, show, uh, as Vivek has showed us that about the uh, published lecture on desktop, this is how it looks. It consists of video, uh, slides, uh, J tree. Uh, J tree means it consists of a themes, uh, lecture topics, uh, and information. Uh, but when we look at the Akash tablet, it's just seven inch, uh, which is uh, for uh, so for to uh, occupy entire uh, desktop is not entirely possible. So. Instead of this, we are planning to build some uh, various types of uh, published uh, desktop, uh, the published modes. Like one is the audio lecture, uh, where you can listen the audio of the professor, and other is a video lecture. So here is an audio lecture. Uh, this is how it will look. Uh, it will consist of uh, the entire uh, entire information uh, information like course name, speaker name, speaker name, uh, and it will consist of an uh, sli uh, lecture slides and all, and. Uh, here is an uh, image button which consists of uh, sliding drawer which will be explained uh, which will be uh, which will be explained to you later by nilesh singh uh, and uh, here is an image of professor so why do we need image of professor there uh, suppose you are watching uh, news sometimes uh, there is a phone interview when you uh, when you see that phone interview there is an image displayed over uh, over there so it it gives the feel that uh, you are having uh, you are seeing uh, seeing the person live so that's why the main reason behind it was uh, to display the image and as obvious that uh, audio lecture consists of an audio uh, or professor's audio which is extracted from a video uh, using uh, multimedia transcoder uh, and uh, it also consists of lecture slides uh, lecture slides are synchronized with audio lecture uh, as was explained by uh, vivek and ajay uh, so how do we get that data uh, across all the professor name and all can be uh, is it's read from an XML file. This is how it's read. Uh, if you see it properly, you can see a uh, course name. Very good afternoon to all of you. Uh, as I, my name is Nilesh Singh. So I'm going to continue this uh, topic from here. Exactly, uh, I'm here. I'm going to explain you about video. Okay, means video publish here. Here, when uh, I'm talking about videos, uh, uh, you, uh, I'm using videos in this uh, uh, in this uh, proximity. At that time, we have to use some components. Okay, there are some components as a slide drawer, as uh, Ninad uh, Nina, uh, told you about the slider. I will. Uh, I would like to show you what exactly the slider. Okay, now uh, here you uh, you will see some uh, some text and all. Here, uh, this is exactly the your slider. It's not visible properly here. So, I'll show you what is the slide drawer. Look, this is exactly the slide drawer where we are going to use this. In our uh, proximity for the video or audio, here you can see in this uh, audio. Okay, in audio lecture, 
this is exactly the slider when we'll push this uh, when we'll uh, push uh, from the right side to left side okay so it will show you some components like uh, you can see here before that we have we will get this all uh, all this information on that slide drawer means uh, index the t, uh, tree form of that index so we will get that uh, information on that particular slide drawer so now uh, same thing we will use with the video also okay this is the one of the uh, snapshot for the video apart from the slide drawer we have uh, some another components like image view uh, this image view we will use for the image to display image on that particular place any place we can use that then video view for displaying video and apart from that expandable list view okay this this one this one will be new here this expandable view we will use to display the tree structure on our video slide okay in a slider drawer and then buttons some text uh, text view buttons we will use for the button and text view we will use for the viewing some text now here uh, the video lecture publish here is a similar to your audio lecture publish here again now here we will get some uh, lecture uh, video lecture slides okay and some lecture slides in the lecture slides we will get uh, some uh, first uh, sorry first of all we will uh, start with the what is that uh, lecture video lecture video i can show you like that this is that your lecture video you can this is a first like you saw this one in the f very first uh, slide a snapshot of this uh, presentation now here we will get the, this is a like slide drawer and that the video that uh, any professor like any lecture video you can see over there and simultaneously this one will be synchronized based on timing here we are using the timing means uh, if we want to uh, we want to jump some particular topic or uh, one particular second to uh, listen that particular topic so we can directly click on that uh, particular tree video okay if we will click on that any topic in this it will direct that video will directly jump to that particular topic or video okay so that that particular uh, tree view you will find in the in a slide drawer okay then synchronized video lecture and a lecture slide so lecture slide in means uh, simultaneously if uh, like a professor is saying something about some topic so simultaneously it will uh, uh, show you the slides also okay for that particular topic okay if, if professor will change that particular topic it will again jump to that partic another particular that particular topic okay then this is the read uh, data from xml file okay here uh, basically this read data from xml file is similar to all in all proximity presentation okay same uh, if we want to uh, get some information as nina told you about this dbms dbms like you will find that dbms on the course here means we will get the all uh, information from the xml file okay so here that basically the uh, here we are working on that that uh, reading uh, data from the xml file okay now uh, i would like to call my uh, colleague pradnya to continue this presentation i am pradnya give my introduction is project experience wise i am the most junior person on this team currently so due to which i am suffering with a very big disadvantage my colleagues sitting here they have given me most boring part to explain i don't have any videos to show you i don't have any fancy technologies to explain to you i just have some design documentation to explain it to you so let me understand uh okay you are from a computer science background i assume so what is the significance of dfd can anyone tell me okay what is the dfd cool what is the significance of dfd so for example after a month when you will see your output whatever you have designed and then your lead may come to you and you and they may tell you that you know see this is all are, all is missing so you can tell them see the, dude this is a dfd and this has been approved by you so that's not my mistake so to put it in a good way dfd gives you a you know a reporting format that what you are going to develop and whether the whole team is understanding what we are designing or not so right now we are talking about a very small application of proximity there can be on akash tablet we are going to embed the proximity there is one more project coming as a peer to peer communication so you guys will be distributed among the modules and at the end we want to see all those modules on the tablet so it's going to be a very big project so all of us has to understand what is the importance of each module where does it stand how does the data flow from one module to other module so these are some important factors to understand so all right 
So now you have seen the application. See, now this is the UI, one of the UI, which has been planned to design on Android. So now tell me, with respect to DFD, what is the obvious entity, important entity in a DFD? The end user, the student who will be viewing the published lecture, right? So, okay, so the student who will be the viewing published lecture is the most important person in our whole application, right? So, for them only we are doing this whole application. So, let's go to the diagram and can perform with the app which is running on the tablet and uh, accordingly the response will be sent back from the tablet. So what all actions will be? Very obvious. For example, if video is getting viewed, then I would like to maybe click on next, pause, go to previous. So even in this tree, so if you see this tree, so these trees, what we have uh, planned is we will design it according to the theme. For example, when professor may take several topics on suppose data structures, that can be linked list, that can be something more. So what I would like to just view is only a linked list part. I would like to only view the linked list slides and I would like to hear only the linked list video. So what will I do? I will simply navigate on the index. I will go to that particular topic. So that kind of flexibility definitely the student will want. So, so the one of the action will be to navigate based on index. So if you see the, oh, the topmost arrow the start the application. First of all, obviously, you have to run that application. Then the second application would be, the second action would be, the show that navigation index to the user, so that user can navigate based on the requirement. Then based on requirement, whatever the student or the user has clicked, show that output. Then with respect to videos, click on next, previous, pause, and based on that, uh, send the response back. And now here is the one more part of this diagram. If you see here, view the published lecture, but from where this lecture is going to come. There has to be some executable file or a jar file which may come to our mind to execute that application. So whatever proximity people have shown you, that was a jar file which was getting executed and that's how they have taken those snapshots. So with respect to Android, it's .apk file which we will be installing on the app, on the tablet, on the Akash tablet. So that will be coming from here. So import and install the APK on tablet and then view the published lecture. So from where this .apk file is coming? So it is coming from some edit and publish mode. So initially you have seen some XML data, XML data is getting mapped to some output there, right? So that is what that edit and publish mode will be doing. So basically, a proximity edit tool will import the videos, the slides, the time frame of each slide, and they will prepare a XML which will have the correct data to go to give the output. All right. And further, that XML file we will public, we will publish, and create a .apk for Android, and that further will be shown on the tablet. So that's how the flow is. So, so this di diagram was specifically talking about the viewing the published lecture. Okay, so this is the part which we are currently, we are focusing on or we are developing. Okay, so what we, uh, as even Nilesh has shown you some that slide drawer. So that's what we are exactly right now trying to give, show that output on tablet. You know, there is a video, there is a slides, the all, form whatever we want. So that's what the current design is. And what will be the future enhancement? The future enhancement will be this. So <clears throat> we are planning to have the editing tool for Akash tablet. So whatever tool the, uh, the initially Vivek and uh, Ajay had told is with respect to the proximity edit tool. Now we, what we want is we want that editing tool on the tablet. Because what we are saying that we want to have our every application on Akash tablet, right? So there is no point on giving a desktop application to edit the XML and then import and run, right? So we are giving flexibility to, we are planning to give flexibility 
to edit the XML on the tablet. So, the, that process will be comprised of these all steps. So, first of all, reading the XML file on the Akash tablet. So, first of all, how the flow would be? The proximity edit tool will import videos, slides, audio, whatever is required, the time frame, and they will create a XML file. Okay, so that XML file we are giving in editable mode on the tablet. So this is the XML file. Okay, so I want to edit it. So the simplest UI which I can think is I can have a left left hand side all labels like video name, course name, and the right hand side whatever the value is I will have it in text box. The simplest UI I can think of, and the user can edit say whatever wants to do. So that will be something of editing of XML. Then the third, that's what I told about, making the data fields in GUI editable. So I'm giving those values in text box, user can edit, save. And accordingly, the APK will be generated. Then the binding XML file and the GUI, so that any change in one is automatically reflected in other. So definitely, once that data is saved, that has to be reflected in the published lecture, then only it makes a sense. Obviously. So these steps we have to follow with respect to the future enhancement of editing XML on the tablet. So this is nothing but the XML file example, so which we will say that we will we are going to edit on a tablet. So basically on tablet we will give, you, give them a user a GUI to edit and save. So this is nothing but a talking about the future enhancement. So a teacher or the editing team, they will have an XML file coming from the proximity tool and that we will here provide. So here our GUI will come which will contain those values in text box. So that will edit the XML file, the further the updated XML file will be given to the publish publish process, this publish process will nothing but generate a dot apk file for us. So what is this? This we will soon be saying, I mean next couple of days that how to create dot apk file on Eclipse, how to create the Android application. So this we will see it soon. And this is nothing but a data whatever is required, a XML file, the lecture data, nothing but video, slides, audio, whatever is required. So this is nothing but a future enhancement. And what I told, this is something, a current development which is going on. So that's all from my side. Thank you. Do you guys have any questions for three of us? No. Development of proximity on Android. Any, with respect to the flow, with respect to you haven't understood something or you haven't understood anything. Come on, anything? So all right, okay, thanks a lot. I will uh, invite the lip Singh to give peer-to-peer uh, uh, -peer communication development on Android tablet. Thank you. Hey guys, I am the lip Singh. I am Mamtech here. And uh, so we want to design a peer-to-peer -peer communication between each tablet. So lot of tablet come here, uh, approx one lakh tablet in this institute. So we want to communication between uh, each tablet. So we need to design the peer to peer communication on Akash tablet. So it's a sketch project. So this is an introduction of uh, on, on project, this project. So be, uh, or, uh, actually Skype, Skype is also available, available uh, application. So because uh, we want to design through the Wi-Fi communications, so this application based on Wi-Fi. So you uh, you can either text chat and voice chat with friend on in local Wi-Fi area. So and also which allow to voice communication between two tab two tablet without need to internet. It is basically based on Wi-Fi. So you need to need to is a local Wi-Fi access point. So that is the main goal. Why waste the money, the calling through the phone, your phones and uh, different aspect internet also. Just use the local Wi-Fi and directly call uh, your, with your friends. So just connect 
your local Wi-Fi and uh, directly access point to st and start talking. So, architecture is mainly simple client server based architectures underlying, underlying the network protocols, some voice data and uh, we are using UDP network protocols. So, because uh, uh, communication between each tablet, so we required some UDP because TCP is a connection step, step, uh, connection less. So, suppose that uh, uh, some data lost, so communication will be interrupt and uh, uh, connection will be closed. So, we want to use the UDP communication in um, voice communication. So, it is a time sensitive application CDB because the dropping packet preferably warning and delay packet. So, uh, we have to visit, uh, we can visit and you can uh, this URL, uh, this difference between uh, TCP and U UDP in voice communications. So, this is the flow diagram to overall design, how to design the uh, communication between each tablet. So, uh, this is the begin part and firstly we connect the Wi-Fi net network and local network and also uh, find your own IP address, what is my IP address and also available and display number of user connected uh, and showing the number of user connected in local Wi-Fi. So, this is the overall structures to communication between each tablet, the, the call accepting and pick up call and call end date. So, this is a lot of application in this year. So, we need to the server application hold the IP address and MAC address also roll numbers and uh, username. So, we cannot, we can identify by uh, roll numbers, suppose that uh, I want to call other person is a name. So, I know your, I know uh, other person roll number. So, we can directly call to other persons and uh, pick up a calls. So, uh, this server get the MAC ID and IP address and uh, between uh, get the IP address and also this is the applica application tablets. So, we can communicate uh, connection will be established uh, through the IP address and uh, we can talk to uh, each other. So, implementation we can implement because uh, suppose that uh, we communicate the local Wi-Fi and other person connected other Wi-Fi. So, we need to design the ad hoc Wi-Fi because uh, Suppose that I, I am here, I connected with the Crescent Wi-Fi. So, uh, my colleagues also connected with other Wi-Fi. So, we need to design a ad hoc Wi-Fi. So, we can directly communicate one, uh, one Wi-Fi to other Wi-Fi. Wi so, they like a virtual private network. And uh, other things that trace the MAC ID, uh, we can, because uh, it is a limited because uh, suppose that uh, MAC ID is only available, we can know only one Wi-Fi, we cannot know other Wi-Fi, other, other user connected other Wi-Fi, we cannot identify what is the MAC address of hardware, Akash tablets. So, this is the limitations in test the MAC ID, we can implement how to trace the other user connected to other Wi-Fi and how to trace MAC ID. So, and other way video transmissions, the Akash tablet is a keep watching real time video. Suppose that I am here, class is also in uh, video lecture in also in classroom. So, we can see directly real, real time video and recorded video also. We can hold the recorded video and also implement the file sharing between each tablet. Suppose that uh, uh, a photo and text and video, we can share uh, 
each tablet and uh, through the server and other one is the call conferencing and we can also implement the call conferencing on akash tablet so this is a lot of application in here so firstly uh, we have designed firstly we are designing a simple application we can uh, connect the local wifi and uh, uh, talking about each uh, tablet so this is the overall application what is the requirement this is a software interface software interface is a android 2.3 something and uh, it's based on java applications sip library is also available so lot of application available in sip is a, uh, session initiation protocol the api also available we can use and uh, other we can backend use the My mysql so it's a whole the username problem number mac id and android id android id also so 